Morning. Harris County leaders say there's more than a million cubic yards of debris left to clean up after Hurricane Barrel. That's a lot, and now they want to ramp up that cleanup process. Victor Jacobo was at Commissioner's Court all day keeping track of this issue. Victor. Yeah, Commissioner Tom Ramsey of Precinct 3 tells me that debris pickup remains one of the most urgent issues in the county, especially for his Precinct 3 jurisdiction, which was hard hit after Barrel. I spoke with him one on one today in his office here at the county administration building, and he told me about how many neighborhoods in his jurisdiction have yet to have a first pass of debris pickup after Barrel. We've got roughly 112 debris zones. Let me tell you another way to call that 112 neighborhoods that we're still trying to get assets and resources and trucks in to remove the debris from these areas. Ramsey is hoping to allocate more county resources to speed up the process. One of his concerns is the potential that disaster relief companies helping here right now in Harris County may be redirected to the East Coast after Hurricane Debbie. And Ramsey says his precinct has already had to get creative to clean up, get clean, clean up going. We brought on veterans to help us clean up the debris and to see veterans out there on a mission to help their neighborhood clean up debris during this time is very important. School starting uh, just in a matter of a couple of weeks. We've got to be sure that those routes, safe routes, that those are taken care of and those issues are addressed. Now, commissioners just voted minutes ago to modify some of the reimbursement rules around some of the debris pickup companies that are used for this issue. However, they're going to revisit this topic again next week here at Commissioner's Court. Commissioner Ramsey says he hopes neighborhoods who have not yet have debris picked up can have their first pass happen within the next two to three weeks, but they'll be notifying those neighborhoods when they get to them. For now, reporting live downtown, Victor Hakobo, KHOU 11 News.